25. How are we only 20? Oh. Did I get... Oh, why have I got a sneak button? <laughs> I forget this every single time I come back to play this game. It's like, it's, there's just something... There's something that I got last time that I just don't remember. Just wiping my booty on his face, I guess. Right, what's the le crash and burn? <laughs> this is a good start. Yes, this is going to set the tone for the rest of uh, everything that is going to come in front of it. Well, here we are again. I wouldn't necessarily call this irony, but don't you find it a little odd that we keep meeting under these same world domination circumstances? Well, if you gave it up, this would be easier for me. And let me win for once! Don't worry, Dr. Cortex. Now that my elemental powers have reached maximum capacity, this little geek is gonna wish he was never created. How, like, I've been whipping his ass up and down the thing. He's now reached his maximum potential. When did that happen? How, like, <laughs> through, through constantly losing, I'm now really good. Like, what? <laughs> surely, surely you'd be like, all right, so like, all the other masks fucking sucked. This last one better be the good one because, like, my god, I've like even with the power of ancient deities and stuff, I I can't I can't seem to beat this fairy asshole. Oh, I don't like the way this is going. Now, now this this could be this could go two ways, right? Either this is going to be. The last one of those games where the last set of levels is like, you know, a sort of a best of compilation where you just get all the really cool shit or it's going to be one of those ones where it's just really fucking bad. And I think it's just, well, no, it's just, it's just really hard, right? And um, I think it's going to lean towards the latter because like it felt like when you play Crash 3, it feels like the last couple of levels of Crash 3, even though they are hard, yeah, they're not like stupidly hard and most of it is just sort of like, oh, remember that like Egyptian level? Well, here's another really good Egyptian level. Hey, remember that space level from the future or whatever? Ah, uh, here's one of them. It's really good too. So like, what the fuck? I swear I ran with that. But this is probably just, I've never seen this level before and I can already tell it's a piece of sh I mean, the jumping in this game, I still haven't really mastered. And one thing that, what the fuck? <laughs> Come on. Well, one thing I always manage to, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a game over before I get out of this. One thing I always manage to master with the other ones was like... What? What? <laughs> the bird smacked its face against the floor and killed me? Oh, fuck me! Jesus Christ! I'm gonna get a game over before I'm even out of this. You can fuck off. Might as well just back away quietly. No, oh, so that was a mistake. <laughs> oh, fuck me, I caught it? Oh, come on. There we go. I knew it. I was going to get a game over before I even... <sighs> I fucking hate this game. I was going to get a game over before give even... Up. He's like, yes, please, please, <laughs> please give up. Get ready to face my wrath, Crash Bandicoot. Oh, he said the kind, <laughs> nearly kind of the name of the game. He nearly said it. I like it when they do that. I, I don't know what it is about this game, but um, the fucking jumping in it is, I don't know, it's not, it's not right. And again, like, it doesn't matter, I don't know how many lives I had at the end of the last one, but I don't seem to have as many as, you know, I was expecting to, let's just do different levels, let's just do Gold Rush, see if I can gain some lives rather than lose all of them. I should have guessed from a title crash and burn that it was probably going to be a bad start, but whatever. I mean, how bad could it be? Gold Rush sounds good. 
It's probably going to be dicking around in a minecart. It's going to be the minecart level from Donkey Kong Country. Just worse. <laughs> just, just really hard. <laughs> no, that was easy. Like, I'm not going to lie. I really sucked at Donkey Kong Country. Okay, is that something that they do? Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, that's the, one of the easiest enemies to avoid in the game. I mean, even a mask could make this easy. You know what, I just, I didn't think he was going to do anything. I, I honestly just thought he was just going to stand there. I forgot I can double jump as well. I don't know what that, I'm kind of curious to see what that fucking donkey is going to do. Because it doesn't look like he's going to do much of anything, but. I avoided that somehow. <laughs> Damn it, come here. Right. Oh, that's it? He just kicks backwards? <laughs> oh, come on. I thought he had, like, dynamite strapped on the back. I thought he was going to blow up or something. There's 209 boxes in this fucking level? Two hundred and not I'm oh, screw the bonus round. Fuck that. Two hundred no actually, you know what? I might as well give it a go. Two hundred and nine boxes! I can't I mean like the most you ever get in like Crash 2 is like a hundred and ninety something. Like a hundred and actually a hundred and eighty. And even that feels excessive. Actually I'm not even sure it's that much. I think it's probably like less I think it's actually less than that. Like, when you get a hundred and anything, you're just like, oh my god. Going for the gem in this must be a nightmare. Not that I'll ever be invested in this game enough to want to get the gems for it. Oh shit. Just walk right into that. That's cool. There goes the mask. I really don't like how these don't trigger the second you... Oh fuck, I didn't see the water. I don't know how I didn't see it either. I, I bounced and then <laughs> just went to the end. Oh well. Well, we gained. No, did we? I don't think we did. Well, that wasn't too hard. So I could probably I could probably do that if I don't jump into the water again. And you don't lose life, so you know, might as well go for it. Oops. What can I say? What can I say? Um, that didn't go to plan. Yeah, I think I'm fairly sure in the other games, when you, you know, break something underneath the TNT box, it has a habit of. Yeah. Oh crap, it's Somehow I missed one, but who gives a shit? I'm not getting this for the- I'm not going through this for the gem. I'm doing this for the sweet extra lives that I'm definitely going to need. It seems like they have quite a few lives in this level, which is- Oh! One of them. Plus, a lot of the enemies don't seem to be much of a threat. <laughs> I 
somehow that didn't blow up. I, I, I'm kind of confused how. But I won't question it. Let's just keep going. Like, it, it feels like every time you drop a TNT box onto the floor or something like that, it should either trigger or at least, you know, blow up. Reckon we can bribe Cortex with gold? Oh, shit, I don't understand this. <laughs> Can you just... I was gonna say, can you... I thought you could just spin infinitely for a while there. I mean, that is a really long spin either way. Hang on, no way. Is that like the the extended spin or whatever it's called? The super spin? Ultra wash? I don't know. I'm fine with going very slowly. Oh, that's why. Alright, well, I wouldn't have predicted that. I thought he would have just jumped like, you know, he does every other time. <laughs> what do I know? This is painfully slow. There must be a button to speed this up, but... I'm not sure I want to do it because I'll miss these sweet life boxes and get yeah, X. Wow, okay, that was a big jump, I guess. There's something just wrong about this game. Like It's like watching it's like watching a film you know, like your favorite film but with all the actors changed places. Like it's so familiar yet it's so different at the same time. And I know I've said this like a thousand times but like somehow it feels like the graphically it feels like a step down from the original Crash Bandicoot on the PlayStation 1. Like it just doesn't look as good somehow. Like, really, if the enemies are this easy to avoid, why fucking put them in there at all? Like, if I can just, if I can really, really easily walk around them. What, that? That's not the bonus round, because I've already done the bonus round. What is this? I get the feeling I'm going to regret this. Oh, it's got a, it's got a skull and some guns on it. I'm sure it'll be fine. Like, what's the, why do we, why even bother? An unnecessarily hard part of the game. The whole game is unnecessarily hard. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah, it's just nitro boxes and shit. I'm gonna die. Oh fuck, I made that somehow. Yeah, this is there's dynamite and fucking scorpions and yeah, this is. Just another day in the office for Crash. Yep. This is this is generally how I operate. Why are there so many assholes of dynamite down here? What the fuck? Oh shit, no. And do I die if I touch them? I don't even know! <laughs> oh, we got a jet. Oh, but... But if I do that, I gotta do the level again because I didn't get the crystal. So I should probably just kill myself so I can go back. I mean, that was good, I guess. We got a crystal, and I wasn't even trying to do it. I gotta say, this is a astoundingly easy level in comparison to like all the other shit that I've done so far. I think this has come at the wrong point during the game. Well, I'm still kind of a... It's like this bridge moves in comparison to what side you're on to it. It's like the most interactive thing I've seen so far, because a lot of the enemies are just statically going about their business. 
fuck. <laughs> Oops. Wait, have I got the Wampa Gun? Oh, I do. Why have I... Oh, shit. I just realised that. I was like, hang on, shouldn't I have that? Oh, damn it, Crash. Stop playing around. We don't have time for games. That's why we're playing this. Well, I can just blow everything up, so, like, why... Why not just shoot everything? Well, now I've died. Man, just because I died once... I'm like shooting the wall in front of the invisible wall. Like, what? Did they... I know they've pro obviously they've programmed in, you know, clipping for the walls and stuff, but like, what the f... I can just, I can just shoot nothing. <laughs> it doesn't just shoot off into the, you know, like into the edge of the screen. I literally just, I'm shooting the invisible wall. <laughs> Feels like that shouldn't work. But it's all over this part somehow. Plus, this is not easy to control with a stick. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, well, that got rid of them. Whoa, oh, fuck. Oh, come on, he got like a spike to the knee and died. Oh, fuck, now I gotta do it from here again. We'll just power through this like the good old days. Who gives a shit? Like, I may have made this abundantly clear so far, but like, I'm really not interested in getting gems, even though I've managed to get myself a gem. Shoot the nitro box, damn it. Deliberately doing this the longest way possible. Like. I'll just fucking jump over here. I got double jump and stuff. I can make this. It's just a cactus, anyway. There's like plenty of them. They're everywhere. Look. Finally, a checkpoint. So I don't care. Oh, what the? What? <laughs> okay. It let me bounce onto the top there, but then, like, just teleported me through it. Like, <laughs> you're not supposed to be there. Oh, but we are supposed to go forwards. Oh, shit. That's some fucking janky ass physics. It knows what it wants me to do, and it doesn't want me to do that. <laughs> like, what am I actually holding on to there? Because it's just a piece of wood. It's a shame I can't use the... thing on this. The, the rocket launcher, that's what I'm saying. I gotta say, this is this is really easy. In fact, this is way easier than I was anticipating. Compare, you know, because like thinking about how hard the other level is. Oops. No. Call out them. And just leave the rest because. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, oh. <laughs> I was just going to say about how the hell am I on the edge there? And great, just as I say it, I get fucking killed. <laughs> oh my god. I should have known, though, standing at that range, that was going to happen. I should have expected that. I was a fool. So do I get that life every time that I die? Can I ever lose this level then, as long as I continue from this checkpoint? Look at him waggling his legs. This is such a weird game. Well, uh, everything, every game that wasn't made by Naughty Dog that was Crash Bandicoot felt weird. Like the Game Boy Advance games, I was totally ready to record some of them. Actually, I've got I think I know I've got Crash Bandicoot Excess. I used to have the other one, but I don't remember what happened to that. Entrance thing was cool. I was ready to do that, but my Retron just it doesn't work anymore, so I can't record. I I mean, unless I just it defeats the point of having the game if I can't record it on anything. <laughs> I don't have the Game Boy Advance deck, and plus that thing looks like shit. So, um... I don't really know how I'm gonna do it, unless I just emulate the game, play it that way, which I hate doing. It's low, lowest. Emulation is for me is just like the worst, because I just, I hate using the different controller to what the game tells me to use. If you know what I mean? You know what? Uh, you know what? I knew that was coming as well. The the second that I saw that there were four boxes there and they were right there, I was like, you know what? One of them is going to be a nitro box that I'm going to put in there. Wow, this floor is like the only thing they really put any love and attention to in in this whole level. Oh look, up there they put the. Oh look at that! Two boxes out. Probably one of them was that one from the bonus round. Holy shit, it's been like 25 minutes and I've not even... It's been 25 minutes and I've only done one level. I think it has, I can't even read that from here. It looks like 25 minutes. That's it, we did one level. Um... Should we go back and try the first one again? I'm warmed up now. Plus I got the mask, so then maybe that will help. Let's try this again. I love this thing, like, the enemies show up, but, like, unless you're there at the time, they just sort of, like, walk away and that's it. There aren't really much of a threat. You die more times to falling into the water and stuff than you do to any kind of enemy in this game. If I think about it, how many times have I fucking died just doing this part? 
I thought that was going to get me, but somehow it didn't. So glad you brought these nitro boxes into existence. Now you can die on them. <clears throat> Why am I bothering with the... Alright, well, okay, we'll just do the bone strand, fuck it. I've started 44 boxes? Jesus Christ. Anything higher than like 20 feels like, you know, why don't you just include this part in the main level? Like... Oh, I didn't see how many boxes. There are 138 in this level. In this one level, there are 138 boxes. I want that. But I can't have it. Oops. I'm going to say not all of this is going to plan. Oh, that's good. Wait, can I... Can't I use the incredible power of sneaking to... What? Um, okay. So, I all I did was stop, and that was enough to, to get me... <laughs> but then I landed on the lava, and that, apparently that was fine too. So, um, okay, whatever. <clears throat> oh, god damn it. We'll just jump over everything. That's my solution to it. We'll just jump over it. Who cares? I ain't going for gems. My little idiot, just sitting there. I'm really not sure what to make of a lot of this. It's just a fuck of... You missed. Like, am I gonna die if I touch this thing? I mean, that's probably a rhetorical question. I will probably die if I touch it, but... I mean, if this was Crash 2 or Crash 1, I would definitely die if I touched it. I mean, like, that's not even a question. If it looks like a threat in Crash Bandicoot 1 or 2, it probably is. <laughs> it's like, you know, that's a stupid question. Is that going to hurt you? Of course it's fucking going to hurt you. Jesus Christ. What do you think? We put something in the game that wouldn't hurt you? Of course it will. But, like, this is a bit different because, like, stuff is just doing random sh I wasn't even sure that donkey was going to hurt me the first time I saw it. And, frankly, the donkey never hurt me. But, like, it, it had such a weak, like, attack that I was like, alright, well... <laughs> Might as well be part of the background, really, but it's... Like, is this, is this skeleton going to hurt me? No. Some grim imagery for a PlayStation 2 game. Actually, wait, we have Silent Hill came out on PlayStation 2. I don't really know what to make of this. Am I supposed to go over this? Through here? Through there? Down? Oh. Oh, I'm supposed to Donkey Kong my way back up here, am I? That's alright, it seems to stop before you get anywhere interesting. Oh, so I can do the death round, but thinking about it, I don't really want to do the death round, so fuck it. Man, a lot of skeletons here. Must be previous players. Must be the dev team. <laughs> okay, well that's a fucking fair few things to try and avoid. Oh, but I did it. I always underestimate my own skill. What the fuck?
Well, we made it. <laughs> okay. Well, after you've seen that the first time, who's dumb enough to walk into that again? Like, this is something else. This is just bullshit. I mean, I'm assuming one of that one hit will kill me because I've not been hit yet. But, you know, that's what you got to assume. Oh, again, really close. Had I been trying, maybe I could have done that. Uh, this is just a really weird and confusing game. <coughs> Alright, so he's on two levels. Medieval madness. Oh no. It's gonna be like Dark Souls again, isn't it? Bring it. Bring the bandicoot. <laughs> Is that all he had to say? <laughs> Bring it, you brain dead bandicoot. All right. Ah. <sighs> uh. Oh, it's going to be one of these levels. I actually like these levels, so I can't complain. Or at least I think I like them. I'm not sure, really. Oh, I'm not meant to go that way. <laughs> well, I had a one in fucking bullshit. Oh my god. Alright. The problem is, it's downhill! Fuck you! Jesus Christ! It's downhill, so like the second you start going, that's it. I'll just go all the way to the edge. What's the worst that could happen? See, that's where the arrow is. That's where the Wampa Fruit are going. That's obviously where I was meant to go. I don't know why I thought, I'm looking at it now, I don't know why I thought I was supposed to go that way. I mean, it doesn't look like a death pit, it just looks like, you know, someone dropped their collection of straws. See, this is something you desperately need an analog stick for. And I do not like, what are these? Are these anything? Do these do anything? I'm like, look, I'm like clipping. Look, what the fuck is up with that? I'm in, I'm clearly, I'm supposed to be behind. Oh, am I behind it? I don't know. I don't know. That's really weird. Whoa. Fuck me, I should not have survived that. I should be dead right now. Oh, fuck. Okay, that was close. Why have we got a bounce and get him? Oh. That's... <laughs> oh, what you gonna do now, Crunch? Can't you turn around? Can't you do anything else apart from stand there like an idiot? Oh fuck. Ah shit. I can't believe it. He's like the final boss. Like, and you see him throughout the whole game and like he's just standing there. <laughs> he's not even a challenge to get past. He's not even a challenge. He's just there like an idiot. Oh fuck. Careful. Easy does it. I can't get over that. He stands there like an idiot, just like... Ah, oh, no, he got past me. Oh, well. <laughs> that's, that's just that. that must be his final thought on the subject. Oh, well. Oh, you can just go up it. Guess they'll do that, then. Oh, 
Um, I feel like I should not be in this particular part of the level. Oh, well, come on. How am I going to fucking get past that? All right. Well, fuck me. Like, I, was I not supposed to be down there? <laughs> Here he is again. Oh, he didn't save it. Worst goalkeeper in history. I'm just a bit confused. Is there something else I'm supposed to be... Am I supposed to go the other way? I'll go the other way. Feels like the same level of shit. I mean, you know. <clears throat> well, now I can just no. Now I know I can just do this then. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to go up here. Can you imagine how easy this level would be if I wasn't in this stupid ball? Uh, okay, this is cool. Like, this must be the only time that they actually- OH SHIT! <laughs> Damn it! It just went- I couldn't stop him! I couldn't seem to stop him. Oh, wrong way. As I say, this must be the only time they actually put some- thought and fun into this, because like the rest of them just seem like really lame rip-off levels from, you know, the other crowd. Oh, what the fuck? Jesus. Oh my god, how the hell did I do that? Okay. Like, am I supposed to be up there? Let's go up there. Checkpoint. Um, I'm going to assume that is not a good place for me to roll the ball. I like that in these levels, like, all of the bad guys make an appearance. Just doing some, just doing generic enemy shit. They're like, I may have been a boss in Crash Bandicoot 3, but now I'm just going to shoot straight ahead and see if you walk into it. Oh, what, you didn't? Oh, that's, uh, that's a real shame. That put my plan... That's <laughs> Maybe that's why I was only a sub-boss in Crash Bandicoot 3. Look, there he is again. Dingo Dial, firing in a straight line. Actually, no, he's not firing in a straight line. He's firing in a cone, so technically he's doing more than uh, Entropy is doing. feels like I actually have, I mean, I know this is an ironic thing to say, but like, it feels like I'm actually doing something important in this level. Like, I'm actually, I've got, I've got some control over my destiny, whereas the others, I fucking don't have a chance. Where the hell is the exit of that area? Like, honestly, where am I going in that place? Shit! Well, I'm glad that I'm here, but how do I get out? Not that way, certainly. Ah, oh, what the hell? He just sort of gravitated towards it. Alright, well, this still doesn't help, but... Somehow I survived that. Right, so here we are again. Is there some place I'm supposed to be going? I can't even see an exit to this. It looks like I'm supposed to be going this way, but... It also does not look like I am supposed to be going this way. That's a dead end. 
This is a very fussy area to try and navigate your way around as well. For obvious reasons. Death is literally at every single turn. Hey, we're supposed to follow the apples, aren't we? Sorry, the one person. There'll always be apples, I don't care. So nice of them to design a ridiculous maze like grid area while you have to roll around on a ball. Oh, have I got to have some speed to this? Oh, look at that. Well, I no, there is no way in hell I got all the boxes. But again, I only got I'm miss I'm missing 16, which isn't too bad. Really, I was expecting to do worse. But there we go. That wasn't actually too bad. Alright, two levels to go. Crate balls of fire. You know, any any level with fire in it doesn't sound like something that, you know, I feel like I should be experiencing as Crash Bandicoot. Maybe if I was Spyro. Uh, is this gonna be like a boulders level? Well, I died immediately. Oh, I get it. I didn't even see that. I thought it was just a grated ceiling. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> Imagine if this was just the whole level. Any level that lets you walk towards the camera is just... You know, I don't like how little of, of a, how far ahead I can see. It's bad. It's, it's not good. Left to right, of course. Whoa! Oh, what the fuck? I didn't even see that grating there. I just thought I'd jump to my death. I mean, I'm really glad this grating's here now, thinking about it. It's really, really good that it's, this grating is here. Um, should we bother with the bonus round? I'm gonna say no. Because, you know... I just don't feel like doing it. You know what, I don't feel like these last levels are actually that hard. In comparison to like... Oh shit, what? I was just saying that, what is this thing? Oh, this is the the crash suit, isn't it? I mean, really, what is the point of this at this point? I can already... <laughs> I landed down there and it was fine with that until, like, you know, it decided that it wasn't <laughs> and um, got me killed. Really, what is the point of the crash suit at this point? Because, like, I've already got every... I'm already more maneuverable now than I am with the crash suit on. If anything, it feels like a hindrance. But, like, I don't think I'm going to be able to choose not to wear it. Just, like, 
Nope, he's just going to jump right into it. So now I have to tediously try and shoot everything. Whilst aiming in a really... How the... F Shoot button is oh you just let go do you? Yeah. Yep, just give me five minutes to lock on to you. Yep. Just stand still. Don't go anywhere. This is really weird, because like you're in a narrow it, it aims at the wall, so if you're not looking directly ahead of yourself, you'll go and hit the wall, but like down isn't down? Down is sort of like up and Fucking, it would be easy just to jump over the stupid thing, but it's not going to let me do that. Oh shit, what the fuck? Typical Cortex with this bullshit. Everything has to fucking blow up and be deadly. I don't even know what's going on. Well, we did it. And jump right onto them. And there's more. And I missed the box. The fuck. No, don't stop him. I forgot it wasn't a spin. I should have definitely have died there. I don't know how I didn't. Whoa. Fuck. Ah! <laughs> Come on. Come on, like the... The box is like an inch away from the edge anyway. Um, what the hell? Oh, this level is. Okay. Whoa. Oh my god. Come on. Are we done now? Is that it? Is there, have there been enough explosions for one day? Oh, now it's dark instead. <laughs> I mean, if that thing... Oh, what the shit? No! Holy fuck, I, I made that? <laughs> feel like I shouldn't have. Some piece of shit little robot kills you in one hit. Like I managed to, exp I managed to like avoid like exploding robots and gas leaks and lasers and all that shit. And then some little dude walks up to me, touches me, and I die. And I didn't even. I can't. Can I see that? Okay, you can maybe just see the edge of it. It sort of, it looks like vaguely transparent as well. Like it only gains like solidity when you get close to it. Oh my nose. Sorry, I do have kind of a cold. No, ah, I'm not falling for that one again. Fuck's sake, I can't hit him, he's too fast. There we go, we're going. We done here? Thank God. Uh. Last level. Alright, what is the lot? Cortex Vortex. I imagine that's bad. But didn't I go through the Cortex Vortex to become the super intelligent Crash, bandicoot I am? You've been a naughty boy. But now that's going to end.
Uh, I, can't, I don't really care. This is the problem, the problem with half the stuff Cortex says. You sort of like, uh, yeah, uh huh. Well, I should have foreseen that coming. I feel like the camera perspective is going to be what gets me most in this one. That guy's back. <coughs> Sorry. Crouch, crouch lower. You jump way too high. Oh, from the fucking start. Oh, come on, I'm not even close to that. I just fucking let me through that time like it was no problem at all. Ah, oh, god damn it! This is gonna be a bitch of a level to do, isn't it? Like when when the opening is this, you know it's you know it's gonna be hiding some serious bullshit later. Come on! Oh, for the from the fucking start as well. Oh my god! I'm gonna hate this level. I can tell. This is gonna be the worst one. The worst part is like it. W There's so much confusing shit just in the opening section. Better get that, but I can't tell if I'm. There we go. Well, I didn't think I was gonna make that jump over it, if I'm honest. Let's just take this slowly. Look, hit it anyway. Checkpoint soon. Checkpoint soon. I get that they're stingy with checkpoints. Oh, come on, you fucking dicks, really. Oh. I should not be alive right now. Checkpoint soon! Oh, finally! This is like this is like the personification, like the actual, like the the act, like all of the worst features of the Crash Bandicoot levels, put into one level. Really narrow platforms, like laser laser grids and stuff you can't fucking avoid. Loads of stupid obstacles. Stuff that punishes you for doing things that are gonna punish you anyway. Look, just look at this, it's a fucking obstacle course. 
and the worst part seems to be the perspective of the camera, because nine times I can't tell, can't seem to tell exactly, like, I don't know if it is the perspective of the camera, or I'm just really shit at this, but like, like, I don't know, maybe it's the fact that the laser is kind of blurry, it's kind of difficult to tell sometimes how close I am to it. I don't even know what the floor is in this section. And I dive into it again. I thought I was far enough away, but apparently yet again I wasn't. I'll just wait for it to go down. That would make sense, wouldn't it? There we go, that was a really obvious solution. I could just walk past him, apparently. I don't have to bother fighting that guy at all. Like, okay, I'll, I'll be honest here. If they didn't have those little arcs doing their little their thing on top of the, you know, the laser walls, that would already, that would, you know, that would be much better but that's the way they want to play it, so that's the way we have it has to be. <laughs> no, I'm not fucking nope. Nope. I'm not I'm not playing that game with you. Not being paid enough, dude. I'm bothering with those particular boxes since I've ignored nearly everything else in the level. Right. Wow. This is familiar. <laughs> ah, three masks. Finally, my true power unlocked falls immediately down a hole. And there are so many holes. I'll just fucking, I'll just ignore it. Just ignoring it. Nope, don't care. Oh fuck. What do you know, I made it anyway. Like, this is... I know this is supposed to be really good, but that was pretty unsatisfying. <laughs> fucking real. Like, like this is the this is the problem. Like the difficulty is so unbalanced. You got so many things that can kill you, and then just one guy who does absolutely nothing. Like, it, like, like if his what his purpose is here for is just completely unknown to me. There we go, we did like, I'm gonna say like a fucking third of that level. Like you got so many legitimate threats in that level and then just one inconsequential guy you can just completely ignore just by jumping straight over him. Like half of the enemies in the levels like don't engage you in any way whatsoever. Alright, crunch time. Oh god. They couldn't have come up with the worst name for that. Congratulations, Crash. You should be proud of yourself. Not only have you collected all the crystals in record time, but you record also time. defeated the elementals. Let Crunch and me be the first ones to congratulate you. By pummeling your sad bandicoot frame into a pulp. Come and get it. Honestly, cause these guys, I don't know what th threat school they went to, but it must have been like, you know, the threat school for people who don't like speaking loudly. 
<laughs> just seems so like mm. Right, so what's going on here? Am I supposed to be doing something here? Maybe while he's powering up? Why would they, why would he do that? Yeah, I'll just fucking stitch him up by throwing him in it. Fuck me, come on. Oh, come on, I was facing the wrong way. I have to admit, overall, this isn't like the Come on. Really, I've got to be just staring at him. I don't know what I'm doing. There you go. I mean, that was much easier. He just punches him in there, like... Oh, but I die instantly if that one. So all the, the other two are really easy to avoid, but that one kills me instantly. Did I mention how the aiming on this, you know, the Wampa Cannon or whatever the fuck it's called is really shit? Get him. Fuck him up. We'll wait for Cortex to land down there and get him that dude. No, probably not. Whatever, I'll just, just spin him then. <laughs> I don't understand this. This is like... I get that they're trying to do something similar to like the ending of Crash 3, but the ending to Crash 3 was really good. Like, all of the boss fights in Crash 3 were really great. Oops. I guess I don't get a mask at all during this. I guess it's a one-hit kill. as evident by that. Again, fuck him up. I don't get why he just betrays him suddenly, he just like, honestly, he just like, fucking punches him straight into the arena and just lets me kill him. You'll never be the bandicoot I am. You're an idiot. Plus you're really ugly. Although I look kind of, I th honestly, I think I look freakier than Crunch does, really. If we're going to be frankly honest about this. That's it. Bring him to me. Like, Cortex does absolutely sweet nothing during this fight. Like, I'm not even sure why he's here, considering that he's literally doing nothing. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, come on, I was trying to jump over that! Oh, fuck you. Oh, this is going to go on for ages if it's going to be this dragged out. This is going to go on for ages. And it's not even that good. 
like everything in this game, it's not really, apart from like the, the, you know, the ball sections, which I have to admit are good. The rest of it just feels like work. That's why I haven't made like a regular upload schedule of this, because it just feels like fucking work. Like my favorite game, one of my favorite game franchises, at least from like the PlayStation 1 era. Like just playing this game just feels like work. I mean, I get that I don't get a mask in this. I appreciate that. That's okay. But, like, for the, the fight's going to go on for fucking ever, and I've got to be perfect all the time, then that's not much fun. I get that's a challenge, but, like, the, it's kind of boring. It's a long, boring fight with a, you know, cheap death if I fuck it up. I forgot to shoot him for a second there. It's been so long. Right, so this should be the last one. So all i got to do is make this. We'll have to see if I can. Are we not done? That's it. That's it? What were the consequences of that? What, what happened? What was the point? What was that? That was so anticlimactic. Like, I didn't... Nobody got... Nothing happened. There was no conclusive thing. Like... Cortex just got let me win. Like how is that how is that even a victory for me? What the you fuck? That crash may have collected all the crystals, but he doesn't have the gems. With the gems, we can resurrect the masks one last time and destroy that bandicoot once and for all. Alright, whatever. So maybe the maybe the climatic boss fight is uh, And that's just it, the credits roll. God, that was a fucking letdown. Like, honestly, like, throughout the, like, even at the end of Crash 3, when it has a similar, like, oh, but you didn't get the gems, you at least feel like you beat him. You knock him into the, you knock him into that hole in the middle, and you're like, you, you feel like you've beaten them, even though, you know, they, you didn't, like, definitively beat them, you still felt like a victory. That just felt like, all right, you have completed mandatory test. Now you may leave. That's just it. It didn't feel like anything. I can't, I can't believe how let down I am by that. You know, normally when I, when I beat a game, I'm just sort of like, yes, you know, at least a uh, bare minimum. You know, like, oh, that was all right. But what the fuck was that? Oh, well, I guess that's something we did. What is with this exit music as well? Christ. Whoever designed the music for this game just really wanted to be a fucking shitty 90s electric music. Wanted to be Orbital or something, I don't know. 
They can't, they can't think of a generic enough group for that to matter. Well, I guess that's it. I, I was gonna wait. Theme song lyrics? Where are the fucking who theme song? Didn't even notice. Didn't even know there were lyrics in the theme song. It's just gonna put me back in the game. I'm just curious. I just want to see. I just want to see what happens. It's probably just gonna put me back at the warp room and go go collect the gems. Slap me on the ass. Send me on my way. Yep. And that was it. Wow. Yep, I feel the same, Crash. I feel the same. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. I guess we finally made it to the end. It's been probably about a year, maybe longer. But this is it. I did it, and I can't say I'm better for it. Wow. I'm going to go play something else because I need to get the bad taste.